Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign in Europe Universe House 4. This is the Mamluk Merchants in Cradle of Civilization. All right, so we're going to take this mission because we could use some Monarch points. Um, we do not have great piety right now for taking tech, but it's going to be a while until we get the Renaissance and I'd like to get the first idea group going anyway, so let's just take the tech. I'd also like to be ahead of time for 12 years because that's a pretty good modifier right there. We're probably going to end up going for, like, innovative trade, um, and then maybe colonization after that, like, either expansion for the African Overseas Trade Company fabrication thing. But we need a, a nice strong base, and technology costs minus 10%, institution embracement cost, the uh, monthly war exhaustion, and then the advisors. I'm very curious to see how powerful innovative ends up becoming now that you can take your advisors up to level 5. So I, I want to go innovative for that reason. We're taking innovative ideas. We're focused on admin because we can do administrative idea groups super easily. I was looking at the Ottomans and we don't have any transports, so we can't get here. Can't take advantage of the Mothwald Fort. And I'd like to wait a year or so and see if he still has it Mothwald. I'm going to build a couple of cogs. We'll build like four. And we'll see. We'll see if it still makes sense to do that or not in a year when we have the transports. In the meantime, even though it's going to take me kind of in the wrong direction, I, I would really prefer to not be going to mysticism. Then again, we kind of need some, some manpower, so I guess maybe getting to 75 mysticism would be a good idea. Let's attack some Sunni people. Not the Ottomans, though. will move us away from legalism by negative 16. So this is what's confusing. It used to be, I swear, it used to be that legalism, when it says it'll move you away from legalism by negative 16, is that a double negative? Because it used to be that attacking Sunnis was what made your piety give you the tech discount. Move us away from legalism by negative 16. Isn't that the exact same thing as saying move us toward legalism by 16? I don't know. Whatever. It's just the paradox math. Don't really mind if that guy's in the war. Well, I kind of would prefer for them to both not be in the war. I think I almost wants to do it. We have a very temporary uh, rival slot available for Kara, but I can't really do much against him. Easily. And then Shamar is another person we can attack fairly easily. We were just at war with Hormuz, and we can be at war with him again. Feed a province or so to Shamar. Tell you what, he's, he's Sunni. Let's do this war deck and see if this makes sense. Declaring war on a fellow Sunni... We'll move us away from legalism by negative 33. Okay, so we currently have negative 9. It'll move us away from legalism. See, this is this is backwards, isn't it? I could swear this is backwards from the way that it was in the previous patch. It used to be attacking a Muslim gave you legalism. Attacking heathens gave you the opposite version, which gave you the missionary strength and more morale and, like, made you better at conquering things. Unless I'm completely nuts. Because I distinctly remember when I was doing, like, Ryukyu, keeping around a couple little Sunni One Province miners so that I could attack them whenever I wanted a tech discount. I'm, I'm like, 90% sure I'm not wrong on this. It just feels weird. All right, well, let's do a little bit of drill. I'm gonna hide that army a little bit. <laughs> My guys are just jumping right on it, aren't they? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Unit weight is nine, and we're just gonna suffer attrition anyway. Because of the stupid arid terrain, even though... Oh, man. Okay, fine. Fine. Just, just suffer the attrition. It's fine. I don't need any manpower. 
Manpower? What's that? Never heard of it. Okay, Shamar, you are going to leave on the second, and I'm going to be there on the second as well. Let's just wait a second and see if we actually arrive on time or not. We did not, because reasons. Like we just we still have too much calf. If I'm just constantly ending up with armies that have way too much calf laying around, and the the issue I'm running into is not wanting to drill them because they're. Well, I suppose if we're going to be at full maintenance for the war anyway, there's really no harm in, in drilling these guys. We're paying the same price either way, but that's only because. Or full maintenance anyway. If we could stack up a few more armies, I'd like to not be at full maintenance. Alright, let's go back up to speed four. We have converted another province for my minion. Good. I suppose we should probably do the thing where we improve relations with Poland, since that's what I said I was going to do. You have no forts at all, do you? And they have a 242 leader. Well, there goes even more manpower. Alright, so they're allowed to help me out with the siege if they'd like. And other than that, we're gonna pretty much just do a little bit of looting and go deal with the rebels for my minion. So this this is a good swing, I suppose. Axes and manpower are the opposite side, but morale of armies is nice. Missionary strength, we, we just converted everything already, but still. Ironically, uh, you actually get manpower in both directions. You get manpower from national manpower modifier here, or you get manpower from this, which we'll just click the second we get to 75. I wonder if that could be milked, actually. Like, if you had quantity ideas to raise your manpower cap, that's clearly a percentage of your max manpower, right? Let's see. Uh, what is that? Five three five eight divided by two seven seven nine four. It's about nineteen point three percent. So I don't know, but <clears throat> I wonder if you inflated the number and then you just constantly declared war on heathens over and over and over and over again, would you not be able to get ridiculously high manpower recovery effectively? Oh, that guy is rolling so well. To the point where we ran out of morale because I didn't let them recover. Alright, it's fine, it's fine. It's not because we had low morale. Well, it is partially that, but it's also because that guy rolled like nines in every shock phase. Cheater. What a cheater. I was supposed to give that province to a minion, wasn't I? Yes, I was. Ooh, the Ottomans have stopped guaranteeing Akilu. They're allied now. Got it.
odd to see the Ottomans allying him. I mean, this isn't a very good leader. State maintenance goes up, or state maintenance goes down. Yeah, I think it goes down. Good enough. Alright, so that is a Bedouin province. He's going to immediately core that. That was his claim. Um, let's give this one... You, you are Bedouin primary culture, so you'll have even less of an issue with this province. So that was Fadl needs Al-Ula. Okay, and you, sir. Almost have you back to loyal after forcing your religion. That's not bad. Keep on working on it. go fight that army for him. Not that it's really going to do too much. His opinion's already pretty much capped out, but... Right, and I took this one as well because I was going to transfer it to Medina. And we are allowed to integrate people now. Please stop rolling so well. Eight... Seven, four, seven, five. Come on. Seriously, stop it. It's fine that you have better pips than me. That That's fine. Just stop always getting a bigger number in the dice roll. I really think you should get trust for that. Fighting rebels for your subjects. Or allies, or anybody really. Okay, so... Bottle still has a core that we could potentially return. It'll take him barely any time at all to, to do that. And then Hijaz... I kind of want your... your thing anyway. Your estuary. Three seventy six to integrate you. Yeah, we're gonna get your opinion maxed out, and then we're gonna start the integration. Try to sync them up, because we don't really have a lot of leeway with current diplo rep. By the level two one. Hey, granted generalship and granted admiralship have expired. Cool. I am more than willing to get another admiral, and I would gladly take another three hundred ducats, please. And then... In 10 more years we have Diet Held expiring, so I think we can safely give them 10% of the control of the country again. We just won't hire any more generals from them for quite a while. So any lands that have a little bit of autonomy somewhere, please. Let's see, the Ulima. We want them to have grain. That is the ideal thing for them. And we don't want it to be... In the capital node, ideally, because we want trade power there. We don't want it to be coastal, because we want the... Boats. 
And we're not playing with a version of the mod, like a, a mod that makes it so that you don't care about the stats. You actually you gotta go back to vanilla thinking here. We want preferably provinces with high manpower. But let's just not worry about it too much. Let's just give them enough land. So that's 2.7. Could have sworn there was some more grain. You can't have these ones, that's too much goods produced. Jerusalem? Yeah, I guess. That's actually going to take you a little too high now. Alright, there we go. Okay, please become happy. You can be upset for a little while, but sometime in the next 10 years I want you to be loyal again. Okay? Sounds good. You get an actual decent manpower recovery rate at that point. Nice supply over here in Damietta. There's the transports I was hoping for. He does still have that Fort Mothballed. Well, let's scope him out again. Let's see, the Ottomans have Mercs still. They have more manpower than I do. Um, slightly fewer troops total. And they're on Tech 4 versus my Tech 4. But I can take Tech 5 very soon. And if we know for sure we're going to start the war off with a Mothballed Fort seized, I don't know for sure if we can get all the way over there in one month, actually. We don't have Forced March yet. I also don't really like my generals very much. This guy's got slightly less maneuver, but I would prefer the safety of having the extra combat pips. He gets caught out and murdered. Put the other guy over here. Okay, so do we want to make some cash for a little bit, or do we want to... I wanted to start integrating Hejaz. Let's at least go a couple months get these guys started. Naj is trying to beat up on Shamar. That's not very nice of him. You might as well, if you're trying to just like reinforce your army and you don't need the morale, there's like no real reason to not drill while training. While, while re reinforcing, because they reinforce at the same rate. God, those guys are annoying. Okay, I just want to find one more province to give the clergy. There we go. Darn it! That didn't quite bring them low enough to actually prevent the thing. I didn't want them to have the coastal province, I only gave that to them so we could convert it, but... Alright, whatever, it's gonna take them 100 months to have the actual disaster tick up. Sure, it'll be fine. We've weathered quite a few other disasters, so... Stop doing that, knights. It's very rude. Where did all my money go? Drilling armies, reinforcement. Yes, I understand these things cost money, but... Oh yes, right, I pissed everyone off. Trade power, and uh... The other thing, that's where it all went. It's only for a year or so. It's fine, it'll all come back soon. 
Oh, right, those little derps from Venice that actually somehow marched all the way over here. Accumulate money. Mama Saiyan. I do want to attack Ethiopia at some point. Um, he's got a very good estuary there. But... I don't know that I have to do that right this second. This guy's starting to get claims for me, so... I think I might want to wait a little while. So we'll begin the integration of Hejaz. That will conclude in February of 61. Then Fottle. Well, there goes the mothballed Ottoman fort, but... He didn't even unmothball the fort before declaring. He created the beginning of the month with a mothballed fort. Crazy. Crazy guy. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Let him let him wage some war, let him get some more war exhaustion stuff. He's gonna win and then he's not gonna get rid of it, and hopefully he goes into debt. And then in the meantime, I'll just keep waiting for easy pickings and get this integration done. Uh we're trading in coffee now. Cool. That's convenient. We have 18% share of coffee, institution spread rate. And we're working on incense. Ming has a trading bonus, bonus in it right now. That's the, that's the plan. We need to get all of the trading bonuses, please. check and make sure that this is going to be six per month yes all right so 132 we need it to be at 244 minus the 24 it already has divided by six so in three some years i need to start the integration of fodl then again if the integration is at three per month then no it still does make sense to It makes sense to try to, um, to sync them up. Three years is a long time, though. Tell you what, we're gonna tell Fottle that he's not allowed to join any more wars. And then that way, hopefully, I won't forget to start the integration of him. Should work out, in the end. And... 6% institution tech penalty, but I don't think that we're going to get, um... I, I mean, I don't know. I just, I'd just rather be ahead of time and know that I have it. Sure, we could maybe do better with the min-maxing of the points, but... I've learned that some people really like that type of play and other people don't, and, uh... It takes a lot more time. It is a much slower playstyle to obsess over every little monarch point, but... Um... And in, who knows, maybe in the grand scheme of things it doesn't really make a huge difference, but... I'm like 95% complete on the Ryukyu World Conquest, and that was done by obsessing over little things like that, so...
Ramazan's trying to jump on it as well, huh? There's one person not willing to join. Interesting. Akian Lu is concerned about his manpower, so that could be a pretty easy war this way as well. It would also connect the borders, which would be great. Okay, well, I am going to take a short break here and look around a little bit more and see if I can find something that makes sense. And we'll go from there. So as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you soon.